Good morning and welcome to day three. We've woken up this morning and it's slightly different morning that we haven't got the much sun that we've had the first two mornings. There's a cool breeze, but let's get down to the pitch. Brendan, what have you done to the pitch this morning? Well, I gave it a light, a light cut and all that, um, and uh, like 20 minutes of roll. So I'm happy with it this morning. Well, I reckon about here's a good length where bowlers will be looking to operate with that new ball. And, and this is what we see. To me, it's very small, but it's, it's a bit of a grass covering. Well, I just keep uh, the, the cracks together and all that. Um, there's quite a lot of moisture also at the bottom, so I'm happy with it. A uh, little bit of grass, it's, it's just to keep it together. Good for batting? Good for batting. The outfield looks absolutely superb, so the general consensus, and I'll go with Brendan, this is a good day for batting. And it's also time for the toss. Welcome back. This is day three of the Africa T20 Cup. At the moment, we've got, well, today, this morning's game is going to be between Cameroon and Tanzania, and with me, Npenya Foston from Cameroon. And I've got Abik Patwa, who's the Tanzanian skipper. Head is a ball, and it's a head. We are going to bat. What is behind your decision to bat? Ce matin, nous avons décidé de battre ce matin parce que nous voulons marquer le grand nombre de runs et puis mettre nos adversaires en difficulté. Et en ce moment, au deuxième inning, ce sera pour défendre les runs marqués au premier inning. We decided to bat because we want to put a bit of difficulties into opposition team and score as the higher runs as possible and defend in the second inning. Uh, we would have batted first as well, but nonetheless uh, the pitch looks amazing. Um, not much is going to change, so even uh, batting second is okay for us. So the news from the middle here is Cameroon have won the toss and they've decided to bat. And uh, here is the lineup. These are the two teams. Froston Jr. the captain. This is the Tanzanian side, two games today. Abik Patwa, the captain. Tanzania have played once against Cameroon, scored 100 and won by 168 runs, bowling Cameroon out for 62. So they have met before. So Cameroon, in their first outing, managed a score of 76, the lowest score of the tournament. It's a batting surface, it's a batting day, the sun's out, and it's an opportunity for Nseke Bruno. That's his uh, partner, Kubashan Yadav. Salim Jumbe, Tanzanian bowler. He'll be keen to start well. Called in late into this tournament, but it's an opportunity. It's the one slip, a gully, a backward point, fine leg and third man. And it's a dot to start the day. Two umpires for the day, Isaac Oyeko and his partner Alessio Chitonzo. Edged and dropped. Dropped by the wicket keeper. Lack of understanding behind the stumps. I think here it's all a question of how close was first slip towards the wicket keeper. Generally, keepers know that it's their ball. They will go with lots of commitment. Unfortunately, he just gets his fingertips to it. So, first runs, and uh, unfortunately, he's been dropped immediately. They've decided that they're going to go for the second slip. Targeting the leg stump. Well, it's a very good start. Three without loss after the first over. Harshit Chohan sharing the new ball from the Ikuruleni end, which is the uh, city end here in Benoni, South Africa. Looking to turn it onto the leg side. Oh, Big edge. Third man. It is a lovely outfield. Come through for two. Again, looking to steer down to fine leg. So one slip in the gully. In the air, past the keeper. Third man will watch it sail over the ropes. That's four runs. I clearly get the feeling that uh, Golbert and Yadev is a little flustered with the fast bowl, for fast deliveries, with the pace that's on offer. And he really doesn't look like he's in any position to pull off a stroke with any purpose. So he's flashing at everything. How she just needs to bowl straight. Like that. Bowl him. Easy as you like. You miss, I hit. Kubishan Yadav looking for another big shot. And good bowlers picked that up. He's done that now. He's, and he's got a bit of uh, 
away movement, pitching middle, hitting the top of off, perfect delivery and good sensible cricket from the bowler. Gorbachev and Yadav, given how he plays, he takes his chances out for seven of eight, nine for one. New batter, Chakwa Idris. And uh, two slips now for the new batsman. That's a fantastic delivery. Lovely action. Good off. release of the ball, good length, good line. Let's just call it a gentle off cutter, but at good pace. And he's beaten the outside edge. He's also just beaten the outside edge of the off stump. Good delivery once again. Look at that pitch shot. There's an appeal. And there's a quick run stolen. He's got a few to straighten up, Salim. This one he does. But it's more leg side ish. And uh, obviously, from a bowler's angle, he will have thought that that's hitting leg stump. The birth of the Carthage Cricket Club. Salim. Castles Chalkway, and that's the second. Top delivery. Good start from Tanzania. Early, early signs are that this is a very organized, very slick team. The bowlers know exactly what they need to do. Idris, he registers a naught, 12 for two. Top start. Good length. Good length again. So some good bowling from Salim. That's four. That's four. There's an appeal. End of the over. Three gone. Twelve for two. When he has looked to bowl that fuller delivery, that's what's happened. Angling down the leg side. So he's just coming back to. Work. Here's another replay. Yeah. Clearly going down the leg side. Oh, hello. Inside edge. Edge. Down to third. Thinks about the second and turned down by his partner. End of the over. Four gone. 13 for two. Now it's over. This is a class bowler. And he's bowled at leg cutter to great effect absolutely brilliantly and look at the batsman he's a forlorn he's so disappointed what is he uh, waiting for this is a top <laughs> delivery arms jumps forward forward momentum squares him up and then he's castled too easy for Hashid. magnificent bowling really not a four 13 for three take a lane alim becker End of the over, five no. gone. It's a docile start from Cameroon. 17 for three. There's a bowling change. A kill, a nil. It's got a slip in place as well. No, 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 no. Oh, lovely cover drive. It's uh, managed to be stopped. And he rated them quite highly. He said that they're a decent team. Uh, they're very competitive. They're well prepared. Six done, 21 for three. Bazi, bazi. No, Nicely no, cut no, away, yeah. beautifully fielded. Oh, wonderful bit of fielding. That backward point, pick up and throw immediately. No, 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 no. Has managed to find the, the gap between the two fielders. It's going to run away. Touch on the short side, that delivery, and a little bit of width as well. Getting well over the top of the ball there. Wow, a bit of bounce as well. Nice and skinny. He's got a nice uh, hustling action, doesn't he? Runs in. That one certainly took off of a decent length. Jumped up at him. Change up of pace. and That's an excellent skill. We may see the skill coming to this tournament more as it goes along. Wow, that is the best slow ball anyone could bowl. Out the back of the hand is the most difficult one. Seven done, 26 for three. Quick single. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
This time it's gone a lot finer. And have a look at this outfield. That ball is racing away to the boundary. Oh, it's such a quick outfield. Four more. As mentioned earlier, they weren't good against uh, spin. Cameroon, but they would have taken a lot out of that. First performance where they lost five wickets for 25 runs. And that's a nice little touch, just getting it behind. They hardly look to sweep, so I wonder if they'll look to introduce the sweep. Now there's an appeal here. They're going upstairs. Did he drag the back foot? I certainly tried to heave that over the mid-wicket area. Oh, that's well bowled. Nice flight, just held the ball back a touch. Not calling for the slog sweep. May have been better to just play the square sweep, so... This will tell us more. Touch and go. Did you see the bat bounce as well? <laughs> but I think once he gets back, he's in, isn't it? Question is, is his bat down in time? I think it's down in time, but then it bounces up again. Does that make a difference? I think if you made your ground, you're fine. Yeah, yeah. I think it is he's down in time. Yeah, I think he's good. It, uh, it was such a full committed swing that <laughs> the bat came all the way around and he got it back into the crease in time. So there we go. Third umpire has made the decision and rightly so. The bat did certainly get down in time. Well played. That's a fair hit. It's gone for six. Good use of the crease. Eight done. It's a 38 for three. This is brilliant batting. He's allowed the ball to pitch. He's gone back into his crease and he's hit this over deep back at square leg. Change of bowling, Kasim Nosoro. They just simply looking to defend, waiting for the bad ball in the first match. It didn't happen. But yeah, there's good use of the crease. Brilliant catch. That's very well taken at uh, midwicket. I for a split second thought that was going to clear him and run away into that gap uh, behind him. But wow, that was a good bit of athletic fielding. Very well taken. It's not an area where these teams have battled in this tournament in terms of their athleticism in the field. Top left corner. Oh, that's a photographic replay moment of note. Gone for 12. Cameroon 38 for 4. Change of bowling. Yalinde Nkanya. Pulled off the back foot. Again, good use of the crease. So. Yeah, that's going to be called a wide. Well, let's uh, get to the boundary. Lovely bit of feeling quite quickly. He got to the ball there. Ten overs bowled, 45 for four. We saw many teams or thus far. We've seen teams get to the 10 over mark around 40, 47, 50. Yeah, yeah, and it's beautifully taken. They've been lively in the field and it's taken. That's their fifth. The standard of cricket that uh, Tanzania have produced all round. The bowling, the batting, the fielding, the quality of the wicket keeper some of his leg side takes and then the catches have just been absolutely outstanding beautifully judged and uh, that's wicket number five Tanzania certainly looked very good five of seven for Tipita Lake and Kasim is the wicket taker 47 for five no static feet inside the circle you have to be on your toes and so he's looking for that big drive on the offside but the hands the hands are there and now he collects it, needs to be mindful of the elbows so that the ball doesn't pop out. Excellent. On that practice pitch. 
Kasim has been on the money. As he is once again outside of stump. End of the over. 11 gone. 47 for 5. Yeah, talking about kids. School sport cricket has been in existence in Cameroon for the past 10 years. They've got a program that they run there. Into school program, into school extravaganza. This one's in the air and it's taken again. Say so again, looking for the big boundary on the leg side. The kids are pleased about it. And that's their sixth Cameroon. Steps across the head. Perhaps it's the head position. Didn't get underneath the ball. And the man does well to get underneath it. Tseke Bruno, the opener out for 17, 47 for 6. No, no, Amino, a common name in South Africa. No, no. What can he do with a projected score of 82? That will be better than their first outing. Oh, and they, that's in front of the stumps. And the figure goes up without hesitation. That will be the second hat trick opportunity in this tournament. It's just a gentle toss up. It stays straight, there isn't much turn. And he's looking to play this around the corner. Hasn't given himself enough time to do this. And he's out first ball, 47 for seven. For Yalinda who continues on a hat trick, he's got two slips and a leg slip or a leg gully in position. Now then, Yalinde. Turn away. They've taken abroad women's cricket, girls cricket, at an early age, where they've got 12 teams in terms of club cricket for the female. And this one's drilled down the ground by Abada, who end of the over, 12 gone. And it's 48 for seven. The one thing that he spoke about was, and that certainly encouraged him, this one's in the air. Return for two. Fifty on the board for Cameroon. It's up in the air, the keeper! Acrobatic skills. Fantastic. He's been outstanding. As much as the out cricket has been fantastic, but he's impressed me with his takes down the leg side, sharp wicket keeper, and then here, just a wonderful sense of anticipation. Didn't worry about who was in front of him, knew that he's got the gloves, he's got to commit himself to it, and he's done an excellent job to finish that off. As the delivery again, looking to steer it down the leg side, closed himself up with that front leg, planted it, and so couldn't access the ball to try and turn it around the corner instead of leading edge what great work behind the stumps what great work eyes on the ball has to time his jump and upon collecting be mindful of the elbows Nyamba Abega departs without scoring F 51 for it Bekao Apollinaire really been a fantastic bowling effort here He's keeping oh, oh, the keeper disappoints him this time around. It'll be four buys. Four runs. Because it's 56 for eight. It's, uh, it's, it's quite a task and there's still seven overs to go. Because the school sports structures have been put in place. And they're working hand in hand with club cricket in Cameroon. That's a batting scorecard in Tseke. Depita, Nyoma and Nono really needed to step up in that middle order. Looking for a big shot once again, turning away from him. 14 overs complete, 60 for 8. I think that's a fair call because yesterday no, no, uh, Keith no, no. Lane was also asking about it. generally tournaments around the world, T20 tournaments, they, or white ball tournaments, there's always this issue about run rate as well as uh, bonus points. And these, these are initial days for them at international level. 
15 gone, 65 for 8 Cameroon. Shot, got hold of this one, and it will find the gap. And a bit of fancy footwork as well. Hundred, hundred plus. That should be their immediate goal, Cameroon. But they need to be there. One. One, 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 one. Uh, oh, that's going to. Yes, caught in ball. Kasim gets his fourth, and uh, Abada will have to walk back. They've been caught up in trying to get everything basically through the onside and if you don't time it well or execute the skill well, you're going to find yourself in this situation. A comfortable catch for the bowler. Roland, it's been a busy 18. Cameroon now 74 for 9. For Star Junior, is the skipper? Absolutely. The old cliche, when you lose, don't lose the lesson. 17 done, 75 for 9. I'll get them close to 100. That had to be it. That is a great example of getting through the shot too early when it is the slow ball. We need to see more of this man with ball in hand because he's got something special. Yeah, that was a brilliant catch as well. What a superb catch. Have a look at this. And that arm speed looks good. This is so impressive, folks. This is not all about chat. This is excellent cricket. Great skill. You can skill. see the bat is right through with the stroke as well. That'll deceive many a top batsman. Never mind it being a tail ender. Brilliant control with that slow ball. I must say that back of the hand slow ball. Have a look at that catch as well. Brilliant. The feeling has been absolutely fantastic, Tanzania. The awareness has been good. Bowling has been good. It's a very professional and organized unit. Bowlers have done the business. Nice for the batters. And I'd love to have a look at uh, what they have to offer with the bat. The Tanzania now needs 79 runs to win in their 20 overs. Not much to speak about in terms of individual performances or partnerships. It's once again been a struggle for Cameroon with the bat. It was Tanzania's opening spell, Jumba and Chahan, who set the tone with three wickets between them. But the spinners closed it down for them, identifying that that's not where Cameroon are at their best. And it was Kasim Nasoro. With 4 for 14, the pick of the bowlers. Welcome back to Benoni where Tanzania are taking on Cameroon. Cameroon won the toss, they bet it first. Tanzania's target 79, because uh, they, were many, they managed to bowl Cameroon out inside of the 20 overs for 78. And that's the scorecard. Just three figures of note, and uh, double figures that is. Nseke Bruno, Ale, Nseke Alain, and then also uh, Abada. As far as the bowling is concerned, all of the bowlers very impressive, but it was Kasim Nasoro who picked up 4 for 14 in his 4, and uh, wicket shared amongst the rest of them. Very impressive they were in the outfield with the ball, and some of the finest catching we've seen so far in this uh, Africa Cup 2022. The target has been revised to 78 and not 79. Welcome and good morning, Kasim. Good to have you here. Morning, Aslam. Great to be here. It's a great day, good sunny day, and uh, good for cricket. Ivan Ismail is uh, the opener and Abik Patwa the captain and Seke Bruno right arm seamer 
Perhaps we saw a bit of the experience that he uh, lended to them in the time that he was there. And that is why they've been impressive. Off the mark is uh, Abik Patwa, and so is his team. So far, so good. So this is uh, Ismail looking to get off the mark and unable to. Oh, playing at this one wide outside the off stump. Thought it was there for the taking. May have been, but he's missed it completely. And good to see a bit of uh, locals coming in to watch the cricket as well with the weekend having set in now. Nyoma is uh, the other bowler. Oh, this has gone over the top. He's not running. The ball has actually just uh, almost died in that outfield. He thought he was running away for four. In the end, they've picked up just a single. Interesting call. And this is a big hit. He's down on his knees. And uh, Ivan gets off the mark with the most impressive hit in his uh, first outing at the ACA tournament. Eight without loss. Let's just watch this one more time, Kes. Now, oh, that's a firm pull drive that goes all the way over midwicket for six. Two overs are complete, and Tanzania in, in uh, that quest to get to 78 are uh, eight without loss. Beginning of the third over, Seca Bruno with ball in hand, strikes the pad as a good appeal for LBW. It was on the fuller length. A big patwa, the captain looking to clip this to the onside. I'd like to see how close this was, Kes. Maybe on height, just hitting it, uh, hitting the top of the uh, bat or the pad. This time he does middle it and gets the boundary. He's first. That's better. Runs to be scored on both sides of the pitch. And uh, that's a magnificent hit. Just a tighten hands, look to play deliberately over the top and gets the boundary. Four more runs. Uh, that's a whole lot better. Of course, on this occasion, the ball was pitched up, so he, he played the correct stroke. Oh, that's a beautiful stroke. Marvelously clipped. Was looking to do that pre in the early part of his innings. Now he's shown us why, because that is a strength of his game. That's a beautiful strength. Six has just sailed over square leg. The captain showing his real worth. Two scoring shots and both the sixes. I've been reminded. Full shot again, and he'll pick up another boundary. At medium pace, so slow. He's on the front foot, already committed to the stroke, and plays it well. That's a beautiful stroke. This time offered width and uh, he plays a square drive off the back foot all the way for four. Nine fours already. Gets into a beautiful position. The slowness of the pitch, the slowness of the ball means that whilst you're shaping for the cut, you need to readjust. He's done it well, he's picked up the boundary. And he repeats the stroke this time. A marvellous push off the back foot, up on his toes, finds the gap for another boundary. This time he's genuinely on the back foot and he plays the cut to perfection. Change in bowling, Tepita has been brought back into the attack. My word, he continues to deal in boundaries. This time a flick of his front pad all the way towards the long leg boundary. There's nothing stopping Abik right now. This one's uh, missed time, but fortunately for him, it's just chipped over the inner ring of fielders. He'll pick up just a single. Oh, that's a blazing drive. This time it's from Ivan. He smashed that. And it's a good stop. We wish you and all of your... Uh, and there's the 50. That's a beautiful drive. A bit of wrist work coming into that. Already committed to the stroke. But made sure he kept his eye on the ball. So that takes the score by 50. 52. And uh, they're making quick work of this. Just 26 needed now. Gulbashan Yadav. And then we've seen this down the ground. 
Zaz, 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 Zaz! Miss occasion. Oh, it's mm, it's oh, not going to go all the way. This is it over cover. Also not going to go, but they will come back for two. Oh, he smashed this one. He smoked it. That's gone down the ground, and it's a maximum. Beautiful hit. Glorious straight six. Best place to hit any ball is back over his head. It always has been and always will be the biggest gap. Power plays over, 64 without loss. Kenyan captain, a lot to contemplate. Uh, his boys are here to watch, which is good. There's always information to be gathered on who they're facing this afternoon, and that's well timed through the onside, as good as a no comparison at all. There is a man in the deep. And it has gone to maximum, probably finding himself too far in and not staying on the rope. He's charged there for a moment, and but the end result was it went over his head and just, just in his defence, went over the rope. Yeah, the umpires are checking, but uh, it, it landed just below us. So we saw it clear the boundary rope that looked like a maximum. Yeah, absolutely. Looks like Tanzania will definitely want to finish at this over. Well, that's it done and dusted. Tanzania have uh, wrapped this up in quick time and in style as well. Full of confidence, brimming with confidence. And I certainly cannot wait for the next fixture, but um, you've got to give a lot of credit to Cameroon. They came out, they tried their absolute best. Lots of work to do for them. Confirmed, Tanzania winning by 10 wickets. Everyone has been played in good spirit. Patwa was the aggressive one, and then Ivan Ishmael decided towards the end that he was the man to finish it off. It's all happened in good style, convincing win against a very good opening pair against uh, Tanzania. So let's join Aslam Kota. He's with the winning captain. Thank you very much, Daryl. Abik Patwa, captain of Tanzania. You couldn't have asked for a better start? Uh, absolutely. Um, the boys did well initially, uh, restricting, restricting Cameroon to 77. And then uh, we, we wanted to go first, uh, get the get to know it or test it, test the pitch out and see well, how it's going to happen. But then after a couple of hours, after two hours, we, we found out that it's, we can go for our shots. And that's what we did. Well, well done again. And uh, we wish you best of luck for this afternoon's match. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.